Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here if I'm trying to find the way out. There was something more to see, but let's see. I might die here again. There's another place I can enter over here, but I need to kind of spot something that we haven't been to yet and try to investigate. We've been inside this building, but besides this, we haven't been inside any other building. This area doesn't look too big, but of course our exploration is limited because we're dying whenever we're outside. Alright, calm down our health and all that. Let's go back on out. Hopefully there's something over here. Oh good, there's another building. There's one that we have not been inside. And another building over there. Running through the forest, seeing what I can see. There's the way out. There's another building which I'm going to investigate though. The entrance is over here. That's the way out because it's colored. But there's another building over there which I haven't investigated, which means it's time to investigate just a little bit more before I let ourselves rest. Is there more buildings out there? Because now I have the time to check quickly. I don't see any other buildings. Going back. We know the way out. We don't want to die. Made it barely on through. Now let's go for the exit. Touch. Which means it's back here. Alright. So next up is the void. 101110. Alright, that's pretty simple. 101110. Let's see what the void is like. I did not expect to see the likes of you. Oh, who's that? I did not expect to see the likes of you. Did you hear that? Yes. I think it's coming from over there. Let's take a look then. It seems you have sailed off the map, girl. And here there be dragons. Uh-huh. Ask you where we are, what these places are. Who are you? I am many things. And I have many names. Right now I am a voice and a name from a chair. You may call me Voice. And you are a girl from humanity's designated home. This place, out of space and time, is no place for you. Ask it where we are, Haley. We're in a place, Quentin. Out of space and time, Quentin. Good lord. Hmm? I sent someone with you. Inside you? Yeah, ignore him. He does not strike me as a spirit to be ignored. Well, he is. Just ask him where we are, Haley. Where are we, um, voice? You are in a land of half-dreamed hellscapes. Tell me, do you believe in God? No. No, we don't. Then you do not believe in devils either, and you will not believe where you are. Okay. <sighs> I ask it to tell you anyway. Tell me anyway. First, tell me your vengeful companion. That conflicted spirit I sense. It's in space. Spirit, who are you? Tell it I'm nobody. He's my imaginary friend. You imagine strange friends, girl. Well, yeah, he's not so bad once you get to know him. I see, and you're certain you know him. Sure. I am... Uh, hound, wounded animals are not to be trusted. You have one living inside you. Stop having conversation and find out where we are, Haley. Do not presume to know your imaginary friend. And ask it what killed those and ask it what killed those people. Um so yeah. Where are we? There are many things in reality and outside reality, girl. 
Many places human eyes have never deciphered. Many beings human minds have never comprehended. This is such a place created by such beings. The Spindlemen. Who are they? Creatures of terrible innocence. Once in a time beyond time, they were God's companions. They slept at his feet and listened to his words, and he showed them the ways of creation, for they could not understand them on their own. I'm gonna take a sip more. Okay. They were... They are fragile beings, capable of understanding only the literal, not imagination, emotion, or beauty, only usefulness. That is how God created them, and with his help, they dutifully crafted beautiful worlds of childlike wonder. Forests of warm crimson, deserts of sparkling white, vast oceans of the deepest blue. They were his children, and they delighted in making crowned drawings for him. But eventually they become unsatisfied, and in their na or naivety, they said, We do not need your words or your, wi or your wisdom. They said, We are four, and we are one. We are the spindle men. And they said, We can create, we can analyze, and we can decipher the mysteries of creation ourselves. And thus they left him. Tell it to get to the point, this doesn't help us. Hey, you're the one that wanted to explain where we are. I didn't ask for a Sunday school lesson. I don't remember hearing this in Sunday school. Hmm? N nothing keep going. Humans have always perplexed them. They do not understand your ways, because as I said, they do not understand imagination, emotion, or beauty. To them, your stories are nonsense, your paintings are stains, and your music is noise. This place and the others like it are their attempts to replicate and understand your world. Seems I should look for these spindle men. So this is supposed to be, um, our world? Yes. But everything is really weird. Yes. Until recently they could only observe you from afar. All they had were glimpses and impressions. But somehow they found a way in. Some crack in the wall. They made contact with one of you. They took his land for their own. And they have been modifying their creations. Building, always building. Building structures they presume to have purpose. Building that infernal machine. Infernal machine? What's that? It is their answer to the question, what are humans for? They have deduced that you are complex noisemakers and they think themselves virtuous musicians. Because when your existence is a wasteland of quantifiable values, screaming is as good as singing. I think that's all I need. And this thing is starting to annoy me. Let's go. I guess I'm leaving now. My imaginary friend sucks at talking to people. Sorry. Nice to meet you, voice. The spindlemen are dangerous, you know. Wonderful. They are not malicious, but for all intents and purposes, they are madness incarnate. Their ignorance has resulted in horrific acts, and they infect all they touch. Be careful. Now we can finally look around. I don't think Spindleman is going to work. Well, we have the last place to visit, which is probably the Infernal Machine, the machine that's been being built up. It's in the name of the game, The Music Machine. It makes noise. Well, last stop, Music Machine. That's because it's like a note plaster, the one I'm saying notes. Alright, to the Music Machine. Alright, now let's go, I guess, tackle Madness Incarnate. Uh, how do we access the music machine? One one zero zero one zero. So one one zero zero one zero. All right. Here's what the namesake of this game is for: music machine. Quentin. Yes. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. Maybe it's time you accept that I'm serious about this whole thing. It's a very tight corridor. Let's follow it through, though. <clears throat> it's got a few things. Oh. <clears throat> Turn arrow. Throw all these boxes around. Yeah, all these boxes just getting in the way. Turn arrow. Man, 
makes noise when it points up. So maybe that's just what's supposed to be, or maybe it's something else entirely that I haven't quite understood yet. These two boxes over here. So you get a feel for inside the music machine. Press button. Whatever that button does, I don't know. Use crowbar. Simple, but let's look over here first. So if we say min, we should be careful. Examine cage. It's made of wood. Very observant of you, Quentin. Did the bun make this work? Well, if I figure out what the arrow's for, I'll figure it out later. Let's go on down. Hello, basement-like thing. That's actually not a door. That's actually not a door. Examine okay, steam. Ow! Hot. No, sharp. Sharp? Yeah, that's the best way I can explain it. Soft and sharp. So rain wasn't rain because rain wasn't understood by them. Just the idea of rain. Press two buttons. It's obviously a puzzle of some sort here. It's probably involved with this turning thing. Oh, there's another clock now. Huh. Maybe it opens the door down here. I'm not wrong. Let's go look through here. I hear the tick tock of a clock, the noise that stops and never. Oh. Examine tools. They're all made out of rotting wood. Examine the shards. They're rusty and covered in dried blood. Examine device. It looks like a strange microphone. Oh my god. Well, I think this is what I've been looking for. It's horrible. Yeah. I just need to find someone to operate it. Quentin? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. About what I did. I'm sorry. I said okay. Doesn't it matter? No. Alright. Press a key. Press this button first. That probably adds the last option to the clock thing. Let's look over there. So I guess we're going to impale ourselves with spikes. He's found his chosen method of murder. To kill Haley somehow. Probably so he can escape. It seems like he has something with Haley. So let's go to the last direction. Cut. What the hell? I thought that took a, I thought that took a, those took us back to the church place. Well, time to go through. Hmm. Why are we back here then? Maybe there's a hint here about whatever number of keys we're supposed to be pressing. Right. Tower, it's a clock thing. You don't say. We've already observed this place, though. Oh, there might be something to help us better understand whatever puzzle we're at. Maybe it's those four notes that play. Bound, bound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen notes. 
Four notes play as we pass through. So maybe we're looking for four notes. That could be the solution to the puzzle. Okay, go over here and go into the next area again. Wait, what, what? The hell? Oh no. That's new. Let's go through here. Touch. And you're back. We... I need help. Explain. We can't get out. The portals, they keep, um... They keep kicking us back to different places. I see. It seems you are trapped then. Trapped? Likely the Spindlemen have felt you from afar. They are closing the world around you like a cage. Oh. Soon they will find you. The Spindlemen are physically weak, but they can certainly overpower a young girl. They will drag you to the music machine, and will play terrible sonatas with your body. Interesting. Is there a way out? Yes, kill them. Then the trap will spring open, their creations will begin to crumble, and you will be thrown back to your own world. They will finally reap the wages of sin. That's the worst mixed metaphor I've ever heard. What I give for a belt sander right now. Okay, how do I kill them? You don't. I'm in control, remember? Spirit, I cannot hear you, but I can feel you. I know what you are doing. And you don't have to do it. Creation is more than shadows and mechanisms. Creation is full of the terrible and the wonderful, the known and the infinitely unknowable, the hellish corners and the heavenly peaks. Even in death, you have barely scratched its surface. And in your cynicism, you are most ignorant than you think. This is the ending other thing, so yeah, I... Haley, tell Voice to go masturbate with a cheese grater. Quentin. You shut up too, let's go! So we have to kill the Spindleman to get out of here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go on right through these parts. And a touch. Of course, now there's infernal sounds playing. Sounds like pigs. Eh. Moving things as I can. Press button. Place it right there. I wonder if I can kill him with this hammer. I heard pig squeal since we're looping at the moment. So let's see if I can do anything with them down here. I'll keep that hammer there in case I happen to somehow need it. Press button. Oh, this area is pretty straightforward. Just a bit repetitive. Move the box right there. Right there. There we go. Alright. Turn arrow there, which means we can probably go back down here and do our magic. This opens up this area down here. Alright, so that's the thing that we saw earlier. I feel like, let's see if there's 16 here, like I think there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, no, there's only 12. Is there any sort of rhyme and rhythm to this? Alright, 
Well, that didn't obviously didn't do it. You can't press the buttons more than once, so. Let's roll and go. I guess we're gonna continue looping for a little bit. Back on up. Unfortunately, I was kind of secretly hoping that we could uh, do something with that, though. But we don't have the combination to it, so we can't even really get started. Let's put that there. Go to the portal to the next area, which I guess is gonna be Thorn World, maybe, or maybe the forest outside the island. Let's touch that. Wait, this is new. This is new. I don't remember this. Quentin, there's something here. It'd be fine if I could see anything. Ah, this is a new place for certain. Let's return corners. I'll take this nice and slow. It sounds like it's right around the corner. Oh. I'm guessing that's a spindle man. Quentin? Shh. Quiet. Quentin, please. Quiet, I'm thinking. Close to him, we should be okay. And there's one walking. Okay. So. I don't remember this. Quinn, there's something here. I. Okay, so I played for basically three to five minutes after this point, but then I realized I wasn't recording. So before I got too far, I decided I was gonna look through this. There's a big thing that happened, but we'll talk about that when we get to that. So let's just sneak on by these guys. Quentin? Shh. Quentin, please. Quiet, I'm thinking. Turns out these shadowy monsters are just everywhere having a good time. They don't seem like bad folks. Damn it, Haley, stop fighting me! No, 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 no. She seems to be afraid of these things. Quentin's just like, ugh. About her being afraid of them and trying to take care of them. To be fair though, the flickering lights certainly is making this a little bit more uh, difficult, to say the very least. Out the corner, we have another one. You, you're not. Shut the hell up. Now over here, we have a magical gift. A gun. Without ears, they cannot hear. Without eyes, they cannot see. But they can sense. Do not let their inaction fool you. They know where you are here. They are simply designed how to catch you. This weapon is a gift spirit. Pull the trigger. Fix your mistakes. Okay. Fuck it. Let's do some target shooting. For old time's sake. Thankfully, as the voice said earlier, they're weak. We can take them out. They're not particularly tough. So now we're gonna go on a massacring killing spree and killing all the fucking spindle men. They said they are four, they are one, so I guess we're gonna show all four of them. That's two. Three! And the last one though is over here in this corner. Let's take them out. There you go, which then leads to this. This is the last thing which I saw before I realized it was recording. So yeah. I. I. I know what is true, said Hector, and what is truth besides merely the whim of rulers. This is how he talks, sitting in his hovel, writing his religious papers, saying that he alone remembers. He rules us. Your memory is flawed, he says, and I admit that I went mad for some time. We all did. I admit, too, that some of the past is just a feverish mist. Nightmare worlds and whispers and terrible needle-like men... I do not remember anything, but I remember enough. Hector and I, we are very alike. Once I might have lied as he lies. Perhaps I did, but no more. I leave this note for posterity. 
This land is not heaven, but hell, a pathetic shadow of our true home. Demons forged it, and thus it will crumble and dry and flood and perish. Beware the moon, what lies within. Trust the lurking beast. Trust not the moon sliver. Ha 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 ha! Because moon sliver was the game that they first made. Do not fear the scratches in the night, for they are your salvation. My name is Roger, and that is the truth. I guess we're going to go to the music machine again. Where lit the candles? It's, it's a legitimate question. So, music machine. 110010. Actually, let's try talking to the void voice first. 101110. That didn't work. Alright, one one zero zero one zero. The music machine wasn't it either. Uh is it the original one? Zero one zero one one one. Maybe this machine's just not working anymore. I was trying to far thorn forest for prosperity. Zero one one zero one zero. Yeah, I guess the machine's just broken. Which means I guess they're relieving. Let's get out of this joint. And return as we must. I guess we're leaving the island. We did kill the four gods, or they're not really gods, Spittlemen that worked under God. Let's go there's more. We haven't met Roger yet, though. A little bit worried about that. I like how it's uh, keeping some detail stuff. Is there really a way to escape from the island, though? Let's see what we're supposed to be doing. You're shaking. Are you alright? You just saved my life. Not necessarily. You don't want to kill me. I do. No you don't. Yes I do. You fucking don't, just admit it. Damn it. People aren't nice little mathematical equations you can easily solve. Maybe I don't know what I want. Maybe I'm just trying to find some thread of sense in a mess of conflicting emotions. Or, here's a thought, maybe I'm a sociopath, maybe I like playing with my food. You don't know. You don't know because people are nonsense, Haley. Stupid nonsense you can't solve. Maybe I don't understand myself, but you sure as hell don't either. Do you love me? What? No. I don't mean sexually. I know. So why not? Do I really need to answer that? Yes. I don't love you because that's not how these things work. But I love you. You're not you're too young to know what that means. No, I'm not. I love you even after the last 3 months. You know, it's not nice having someone else control your body. But I can look past all that because I don't know, I just can. I mean, you don't have to leave. You can stick around. You can be my imaginary friend. If you want. You don't have to like me either, I guess. Just let me go. Just, you know, forgive me. That's not easy. I managed to do it. And do you think I'm still a child? I think we are very different people. Yeah? Well, I think you lost something when you grew up. No, Haley, I have never been a good man or a forgiving man. I can't. I... I'm done talking about this. Okay. Fine. So you're gonna spend your afterlife bullying a teenage girl? Yes, that's who I am. That being said, you could have control back for a bit. For my benefit. After three months, I need a break. That's a start. 
Well, I don't got any ideas. Well, don't get any ideas. I have one already. I'm going to find a cigarette. Then you lose the privilege, Haley. Girls your age shouldn't... Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. It's not for you, it's for me. And only for a bit. Right. So, how are we getting off this island? And far away, beyond space and time, there was a crimson forest. The, wor the warm leaves rustled. The birds sang shrill songs. The wind turned cold. For the first time, the sun began to set. Well, that's kind of pretty looking, not gonna lie. See, let's deeper into the forest. Guess we need to find whatever is inside the red forest. We can't run at this deck, she, uh, sequence I should mention. I'm just kind of looking around to see if I can spot something. I think only the sea's over there. So let's go to the part of the island that had the church on it. Alright, head that way. Red is a nice color. Thinking there might be something that we're supposed to go to with all this, but oh, never mind. It was just a time thing of looking around the forest. The music machine, a game by all those people. I liked it though. I did. It was a nice little experience. Anyways, catch you guys next time.